So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the graph that is provided here. So I'm going to just write graph here as well. So anytime I have a diagram question or a graph question, any question that provides <clears throat> um, some visual information, I'd like to take a look at, well, what is the information that I've been provided with? Um, the visual information without reading the, um, the actual question down here. So we know that this is Teresa's running speed and time. We have the x-axis being time in minutes, which may become important. And we have the speed in miles per hour. Okay, so remember, this is hours, this is minutes. So at five minutes, for instance, Teresa is running at seven miles per hour. At 10 minutes, she's also running at seven miles per hour. But then at 20 minutes, she's dipped down to looks like five miles per hour. Okay, so that's how we read the graph itself. So I always love to do that just to give myself, you know, 10 seconds or so to make sure I understand how to read the visual. So now the question actually says, Teresa ran on a treadmill for 30 minutes and her time and speed are shown on the graph above. So we see that, we see that we go out to 30 minutes and we know that her speed is on this y-axis with all these points representing speeds at different times. So the question goes on to say, according to the graph, which of the following statements is not true concerning Teresa's run? All right, so this type of question really becomes like a true-false question, which means I'm going to read, I'm going to have to read every answer choice and then compare it to um, the graph. So choice A says Teresa ran at a constant speed for five minutes. Well, she did run at a constant speed here. And that was from, and it's just to clear this up a little bit, she did run at a constant speed starting at the five minute mark through to the 10 minute mark. So yeah, that is in fact five minutes at a constant speed. So A is gone. Choice B says Teresa's speed was increasing for a longer period of time than it was decreasing. <clears throat> so let's figure out how much time does she run in an increasing manner? So from zero minutes up to five minutes, she was increasing this five minutes. And then from 20 to 25, so she was increasing for another five minutes. So altogether, she was increasing for 10. Decreasing was from minute 10 across to minute 20, so that's 10 minutes, as well as from minute 25 down to minute 30, so that's another five minutes. So she was decreasing for 15 minutes, right? So Teresa's speed was increasing for longer? No, that's actually not true, which means this is most likely going to be the correct answer. But let's just try C and D as well. So choice C says Teresa's speed decreased at a constant rate during the last five minutes. Well, yeah, that's true. The whole constant rate thing just means that it's going to be a straight line, right? So we have a straight line decrease over the last uh, five minutes here. So that is definitely true. And then choice D, Teresa's speed reached its maximum during the last 10 minutes. Well, that's also true because her maximum speed is right here at eight miles per hour. And that is within the last 10 minutes of her treadmill run. So D is also gone. Leaving us with choice B, we are sure now, is the best answer.